Hello, and welcome to Richard Hammond, that's me, decides his, my, favourite ever Grand Tour cars by means of a championship. Did this once before with Top Gear cars, now it's time for the Grand Tour cars. And um, what I'm gonna do is go through this list of the cars that I drove on the show. And then by means of this incredibly clever championship format, narrow it down from all of them to simply one winner. It's scientific, it's technical, and it requires my glasses. So, um, I'll go through the cars like this. So, first one is, right, that's the Ford Focus, our old god, the RS, that I had on uh, a massive hunt, as we called it, in Madagascar. Oh, I mean, I love the Focus RS, I really do, it's a fast Ford. You kind of have to love them, that's the law. Um, but I modified this one, and in so doing, ruined it. <laughs> I put it on Caterpillar tracks, and it just, didn't work. It might mean some unusual angles at times. Come on, little pirate, keep pushing. Oh, so that is against, this is the, what is this, the semi-finals? I don't even know how this, these are the semi the opening, the heats, the heats. Um, that is pitched against the Matra Marina I drove in Carnage a Trois, uh, a little, Oh yes, I was about to say two-seater, it wasn't, it was a three-seater, it had a seat in the middle. <laughs> Which I always speculated was so that they could, uh, I can put my wife there and my secretary there. <laughs> or maybe the other way around if we're not talking. Right, of those two, I'll be honest, I'm not a big lover of either. But I'm actually, I can't believe this. I'm going to put the Focus RS up. I'm doing the Focus RS. Because, okay, I ruined it, but it is at heart a brilliant car. So that goes through to the semi-semi-finals. Um, the next two, we have the Buick Riviera Boat Tail from Lockdown in Scotland. Oh, oh no, but that's against the Beach Buggy from the Beach Boys, which we did in Namibia. Oh, hang on a minute. I loved my Beach Buggy. That's the car I was chasing Jeremy over the dunes. Oh, in the desert, that was it. And if, you, if you've ever driven on like deserty sand dunes, proper deserty sand dunes, you lose, you can't see what's what because you've just got lines and lines and lines, so you can't see what's there. Basically, what happened was I, I went airing past him, he'd stopped, ha ha ha, oh, doing, and just dropped off basically a sand cliff. Hammond, seriously? <laughs> he's gone. Hammond's gone, everyone. Hammond's gone, big one. Oh, f me. Halfway down, as I was looking, <laughs> thinking I'm plummeting now to my death, um, I managed to find it on a little path. And I don't, I don't know how I got down, but I do know that they all assumed I was dead. And they looked over the top of this massive sand dune, and there I was, parked on the desert floor. Oh, no, dear, I'm fine, don't worry. <clears throat> I think they were disappointed. Um, that's a really difficult choice, but I'm actually going to... Oh, I love my beach buggy, but it's just plastic rat with a beetle engine in it, isn't it, really? Whereas the Buick Rivera boat tail, I love because it was willfully designed to look amazing and um, nobody liked it. <laughs> they only made it for a few years, but I still think it did look, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take the Buick Rivera boat tail. I've still got that car. I want to do something with it one day. Right, so that's, the, that's how it works. Narrow it down. Next two. Oh, Martin. Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited, I drove in Scandi Flick that I still have, that now has 540 horsepower <laughs> and 500 foot pan torque. Oh, but that's against a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Oh, no, that was from the USA one. Oh, no, I'll go with the Impreza. Um, I mean, I, I adore that car. I took it out the other, the other day, weekend, just gone. It's, it's one of those cars that you, I do actually think, I've got an hour. Take the Subaru out and the hair around a bit. It's just fabulous. So, next one down uh, in the heats is, uh, oh yes, this is the Land Rover that was made out of renewable materials for environmental, that's a long time ago, against the Scarab Seaman. No, the Scarab from Seamen, which was the special we did, uh, Cambodia and Vietnam on boats. Oh, I bloody hated it. Oh no, this is difficult because I'm not a big lover of either of those. Um, I seem to remember my Land Rover caught fire. It did catch fire. Uh, but that boat was just <laughs> awful. Oh no. I'm, I'm, the boat's gonna win. 
only because I didn't like what I did to the Landy. Oh, that's unexpected. And that's actually quite an interesting pairing for the next round. Okay, I'll pick this up now because I'm taking too long. If you play this at home, you can do it more quickly. Why would you play this at home? Uh, Maserati 430 from Italian Lessons. Oh, in France, I did like the Maser um, against the Chevrolet SSR from Eurocrash. Oh, because that's when Chevrolet decided what the world really needed was a six litre V8 engined two seater convertible pickup. The world didn't agree and we announced that we didn't want it, but I've always quite, I'm gonna pick that. The Mazda was great, but it was a bit tired and baggy and they were always a bit disappointing if we're honest. So the SSR goes through, I've got, oh yes, the bike from Mozambique. <laughs> I fell off that like 30 times a day. That's the one that Jezza famously said, I've even got bored of watching Hammond fall off a motorbike. God, I need to kill myself on it. Um, again, it's the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon from Motown Funk. Oh yeah, I remember that. Detroit. Um, I loved the little bike, but it did throw me off all the time. It's the only bike on here, and I do love a bike, but it's hard to put that above a Dodge Challenger SRT, because that has got character. So I'm going for the Dodge Challenger SRT. Just so you know, we've started a second channel where you guys can watch more Drive Tribe, and it's called More Drive Tribe. On there, we'll be posting stuff that doesn't quite make it to the main channel, some behind the scenes content from some of our bigger shoots, and also some content that shows you guys more about the team, shows you who we are, what we're all about. So click the link in the description below or search for More Drive Tribe and subscribe to our second channel. See you there. Next. Chevrolet, oh, my truck from the Columbia Special. Ooh, that's against the Fiat X19 from the Scottish one. Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, the X19, I do like an X19, a good X19, but you'll never find a good X19 because they've all rusted. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna go with the S, I'm, mm, I'm gonna go with the X19 over the monster truck, just because I can because they are fabulous character for little mid-engine. It's a tiny Italian Ferrari. It's not. Um, uh, the International Harvester flatbed truck. Oh, from International Buffoon's Vacation, when we turned them into motorhomes. And the sum total of conversion I did to mine was I think I just put a hammock in it. I didn't really do anything, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it's a good truck though. And that's against John, which was the truck we built to get out of Mongolia. We were, if you remember, we were dropped into the middle of, Mon literally the middle of Mongolia, with a car in bits that we had to assemble as like a flat pack thing and then drive it out. All three of us in the same car. <laughs> oh God! All three of us in the same car and it's a dry country. I couldn't even drink myself happy. It was poor. Well, that was a shudder some memory. Um, I really liked the special, it was a great show, but it was quite challenging to make. Therefore, the truck goes through. Right, we're into the semi-semis, the next stage. So back through these again. Ford Focus against the Buell Riviera Boat Town. Ooh, yeah, well that's got, um, this is gonna speed up now as we near the final. Um, yeah, these are the semi-finals, that's right, then we've got the finals. So, um, Buell Riviera Boat Town, because it's, Actually, a magnificent car. Um, it's just nobody else liked them. Then we got, oh, this is easy. Subaru against the boat. Well, that's Martin, isn't it? That's Scooby Doo. There you go, Martin. Uh, Chevrolet SSR against Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Well, that's quite an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Um, the Challenger SRT Demon is a better car in every single way. But those two, this playoff in the semi final, both of those cars are there because they've got a sense of humour and fun. I mean, the Challenger SRT, it's a preposterous thing. It's basically a drag car for the road. But the Chevrolet SSR is funnier. And if that's, if that's a competition between two cars to be funny, the SRT wins. Can you surprise yourself? You should play this at home because that, that surprised me. Um, Fiat X19 against an international harvester flatbed truck. When are you going to see a competition like that? Where else? This is unique motorsport. Um, and amazingly, the Fiat X19 wins through to the semi-finals. I think these are the semi-finals. I've got to work out the rules in this game. So, 
the semi-finals are upon us. <laughs> Lining up against the Buick Riviera boat tail, we have Martin, the Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited in Japanese only edition. Snappy name. Uh, well, I, I'm afraid it's going to be, it's, it's got to be Martin. I mean, that is a good match because the Buick may not be as good a car technically as the Subaru Impreza, but few are. But it is, I think it's a fabulous piece of design. I love the look of the thing. I love what it says of its time. It's very much one of those cars that reflects an era. You can look at that and you, you can learn what were the wants, needs, desires, the aesthetics of its time, the early 70s. But faced with Martin the Subaru, it doesn't stand a chance, does it? So Martin goes through to the final, lining up the semi-final over here, Chevrolet SSR against the Fiat X19. When else would you see that? Um, ooh, tricky, because the X19, Batoni, wasn't it? Design, I think. You could let me know in the things. I think it was. Um, they are a lovely little car. Characters are full neat, prim. But the sheer sense of humour of the SSR I love it when the car industry throws up cars that it shouldn't really have thrown up. But you can't help but congratulate them. It's one of the things, it, that is an example of what makes the car industry to date such an exciting place. Because there's no need for that car. But they knew there might be enough need to warrant the cost of developing it and making it. I mean, it turned out that there wasn't and it was a disaster. But at least they had to go. So actually, ridiculous car though it is, that is going through to the final. So if you've just joined us, welcome once again to Richard Hammond, that's me. Um, big car showdown from the Grand Tour by means of this clever championship uh, device we have here. And we have been through the heats and the semis and we've got to the final. And remarkably, in a truly unique piece of motoring history, lined up against one another, we have Martin, the Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited Japanese only edition, and a Chevrolet SSR, a six litre V8 engined, two seater convertible pickup. Never before has the automotive world seen two less likely vehicles line up against one another. So I must pick the winner. Um, you may already have sensed where this is going to go, because I have. <laughs> and the winner of those two, much as I love the Chevy SSR for its fun and sheer bonkers attitude, has got to be the Subaru Impreza. Because simply, it was designed to do a job, and it does that job incredibly well. Built from the start as a rally car, engineered as a rally car and then turned into a road car to be sold. And you can tell that. You can feel that in its lineage, in the way it works. It's mechanical. This isn't digital cross-platform torque vectoring. This has just been properly made and it works. So I would say, of all of those cars, the Subaru is a worthy winner. They were all magnificent. Um, I'd like to thank them all for taking part. I'd like to thank you for watching. I recommend you try this. Why don't you get a list of all the cars you've had or wanted and filter them down to find your favourite one. You might surprise yourself, or like today, it might have been blindingly bloody obvious from the start, because I think it kind of was looking back. Right, um, let me know if you enjoyed that, and let me know also what you would have chosen as your winner, and why. Thank you.